Like, so, hey, how you guys doing? Oh, good, man. I got popsicles. You want some? Oh, I fucking love the, uh... The friendliness. Yeah, no, it's this map go. again. How you doing, man? You got your popsicles? Oh, Infamous Butcher is playing. I, buddy. It's really hard to hear your voice for some reason. Oh, sweet Jesus. I mean, you kind of like, you kind of sound like Herbert from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It's funny. Yeah, oh, man, I missed the MW2 community when it was actually good. Well, sort of. Well, yeah, it, it used to be good. But, uh, what's going on, guys? Beast Armada here. Got you another MW2 PC gameplay. This is actually ripped from my live stream as well. I've been streaming this actually quite a bit. Uh, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I typically stream. And I've been having a good time, actually. I'm very, very surprised. You know, I've been having a good time just playing and just enjoying the older Call of Duties. The new ones are kind of hard to play for some reason. Every time I stream them, uh, I just feel like it's just, you know, very intense, just try hard, sweaty lobbies, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, a lot of people like to argue, well, that makes it competitive and fun. And I, I just, I, I get online and I stream. I don't want to compete with anybody. I'm just trying to chill, you know, and have a good time, have some good laughs, whatever. I don't really give a shit about who has the best K and stats and shit, you know. Never really did. It wasn't really me. But, since I got some MW2 gameplay, I actually want to talk about MW2. Now, a lot of people are rumoring the newest Call of Duty to be coming out, Call of Duty World War II, as you guys know. Um, to have a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remaster. Now, I'm kind of curious how that's going to play out, because I know a lot of people are saying, well, I just doubt that they're going to do a Modern Warfare 2 remaster. And even if they did, I mean, I'm assuming they would use Raven Studios or whoever did the Modern Warfare 1 remaster, which is Call of Duty 4s. I like to call it as. I don't ever call it MW1. It's kind of weird. I digress. Um, don't know how that Predator missile didn't kill that guy, by the way. It's kind of weird. But I guess that should be too OP. <laughs> but, uh, you know, MW2 Remastered, here's what they should do if they do do it. They should definitely nerf the one-man army noob tubes um, on PC for some reason. There's been a very, very good amount of lobbies. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of hackers. Commando killed me right there, but, you know, that's the point. <laughs> that's MW2 in a nutshell. MW2 would be Commando, Snipers, and one-man army noob tubes. But I'm very fortunate on PC to not get a lot of hackers on console. It's pretty much every other lobby. It's pretty much hacked. It's kind of like World of War on the PS3, if you guys remember, that was pretty bad, but it's actually been very good. And I've been getting a lot of viewers on my stream, well, a lot for me, you know, I don't really stream much, but when I do, I expect maybe one or two viewers every once in a while, but I've been having a lot of consistent viewers, Delusionary Killer, he's actually one of the guys that's always in here, you'll see him in chat a lot, if you do come in the streams, you'll see him comment on my videos, so shout out to you boy, I appreciate that man, all the support, you know, even if you just come in for a little bit, it's really awesome to have someone actually just in chat talking to you and just saying, you know, What's up? How you doing? You know, I hope your day's good. Stuff like that. It's pretty cool to have, but I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with MW2 if they do bring it back. If they're going to change it at all, or are they going to keep it kind of like how they do with Modern Warfare 1 Remastered? Because they didn't really change a lot. They just basically added a few guns, so I guess technically that would be changing a few things, considering weapons is one of the biggest things in a shooter. But as far as the main core parts of the game, it's pretty much the same. So would they actually change anything in MW2? That's kind of hard to say. You know, I'd be kind of interested to see what Raven would do with it. I personally, just by looking at videos, now I'd have to play it myself, but a lot of people said that the remaster has been very fun. And I think it looks really good. They did a good job. It looks great. sounds great. And uh, it plays really good is what I heard. The only difference really is just DLC. And, you know, that's to be expected. They're going to put supply drops and stuff in it. It's going to happen, guys. Uh, the question is whether they're going to do MW2 Remaster, or are they going to make a remaster at all? And if they do, what will it be? I mean, it's hard for me to say. I think it'd be kind of weird for them to have a Boots on the Ground Call of Duty, and then a remaster of a Boots on the Ground Call of Duty. I don't really know. I mean, it'd be kind of funny to see them bring back something that no one really likes, like Advanced Warfare or something. That'd be kind of fucked up and funny. <laughs> you know, imagine if they remastered that somehow, or did something stupid, even that wouldn't make any sense, because it was also on the next-gen consoles. Just imagine if they did something like that as a troll, it'd be kind of weird, but I feel like they're going to try to cater more toward the people that are also not used to the Boots on the Ground Call of Duty, because why would they make a remaster of one and then also release the Boots on the Ground Call of Duty? I just don't think it would be do well for sales. Um, I mean, it could do well for sales, I guess, in that sense, but the community would be extremely divided, so that could be a very big issue when you're looking for matches, so they would have to alter the game modes. I would like to think... 
that they should delete some game modes. I know a lot of people will be like, well, no, there's a bunch of game modes that people like that they shouldn't get rid of. That's true, but the community's so damn divided with Call of Duty nowadays that they need to start deleting game modes. I know that a lot of people like hardcore, so they should keep hardcore, but keep maybe Team Deathmatch and Domination. That's it, nothing else. Uh, and Core, I think they should delete some game modes. There should only be Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, Domination, Search and Destroy, and I guess Capture the Flag. There's a few people that still like playing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that shit, you broke the fuck out of your kneecaps. Now I know there's a few other game modes that people want to play and that's cool, but every time you add a new game mode that people can play, it splits the community up furthermore, along with including DLC and stuff like that. And you know, it just, it's bad for matchmaking, it makes the connections worse. And that's something that they need to consider whenever they do make the next Call of Duty. I don't think they're going to change anything as far as the amount of playlists is concerned. There's always going to be a fuck ton of playlists, which is cool for variety, but it's extremely bad when it considers the connectivity because it's still peer-to-peer, -peer, and it's never going to be dedicated servers. They just won't do it. Too expensive for them. So let's go ahead and throw that out the window. I just think that that's something they need to consider. <sighs> Maybe someday they will. Who knows? But what do you guys think down in the comment section below? Let me know what you think about them taking away some playlists because honestly, there's too many. There's too many game modes. There really is. Um, that's just my thoughts. And I guess as far as the new Call of Duty is concerned, I'm actually kind of excited because it is World War II based. And I do like the older style Call of Duty games a lot more than the futuristic style. And I do like them a little bit more than the modern ones. But it has to be done right. You know, they have to be kind of accurate historically. I don't really give a shit about... 100% accuracy because it's a fucking video game, but I want it to be pretty accurate. I want the weapons to behave pretty accurately to where they used to be in World War II. So, pretty much anything similar to Call of Duty World at War. And if you guys played that, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want this Black Ops 3 remake of the M1 Garand. That was stupid. I think it's Black Ops 3, if I'm not mistaken. And they brought back a bunch of dumb guns that don't behave how they're supposed to. You know, it's just, I don't want that shit. So, we'll have to see. But. I'm actually kind of optimistic about this next quality. It should be a little bit of fun. Uh, you know, I just didn't like the jetpacks and stuff because when you add a verticality element to a Call of Duty game, it was, it's too hectic. It's, it's, it doesn't make sense. It's a no-go. But again, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you have any other thoughts or suggestions on what you think they should do in the next Call of Duty, let me know too what your thoughts are. I would like to read them and see what you guys think. But you guys, of course, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Also, follow me on Twitch TV at twitch.tv forward slash Beast Armada. Sweet Jesus.